skies Oh Lord <laughs> We were written in the sky I know you feel this fire Jay-Z you know what we leaving again. Big sweatied up, man. We over here leaving boxing, you know what I'm saying? Tired, bro. I'm just I'm not even from the work from the workout, you know what I'm saying? It was just early in the morning. It's just, you know what I'm saying? It's it's hard being the hardest grinder out here. The hardest grinders. Sorry. It's really hard carrying the world on your back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how I'm feeling this morning. How you feeling? How you feeling, Destiny? I don't feel good. <laughs> what you mean? I didn't feel good this morning when I woke up. And usually, I just go to boxing. I'll be like, yeah, I'll be fine when I get out of the boxing. I was not fine. I'm not fine. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But I don't feel good this morning. Um, So, I just wanted to come on here and show you how we did go to boxing. What day did we go to boxing? We didn't vlog. Monday, we didn't vlog it. Um, but yeah, we still going on work. Um, we gonna miss a lot of days for the holidays because we are going to Jersey. So we're about to go and to, Atlanta, going to tomorrow. Atlanta tomorrow. We're driving to Atlanta tomorrow, so y'all go get a travel vlog thing. I miss I Atlanta. Me too. I freaking love Atlanta. It's like when I say the best place ever, it is the best place ever. Right, Destiny? Right. I feel like you're being sarcastic, I and I just don't want you to play with Atlanta like that. It's not that good, unfortunately. I liked it when I first went. I liked it the first couple times I went. I thought it was real cool, but it's just too much going on. That's I'd only at that. That's only since COVID, y'all. Before Atlanta was pretty chill. Well, the part where I live in was pretty chill. It's only since COVID and a little. It's yeah, really the ATL right Water Boys. I ain't gonna lie, they're the ones that miss. I feel like ever since the ATL Water Boys became a thing, it's just been chaos after chaos after chaos. Um, Either way, that's what it is, and I don't like it. But I feel like I don't know. If people go back to work and kids go back to school, it'll be back. When that gonna happen? Huh? When is kids gonna go back to school and these people gonna start working it? Since when is COVID over? Wrong, when is COVID really going to be over? Since they made the mall, you got to be 18 or older to go in there by yourself. It's been chill. Ain't nothing popped off at the mall. It's like they just got to put rules in place. In the area where I live in, where I used to live in, they're trying to make it like their own little city. So once they get their crime back under control, because I just think that's all it is, is when we start protesting, we start doing all that, is when things got wild. I feel like it's going to go back to normal. I hope so. Because I don't know what the heck we're going to... It's not even the crime. It's just too much. Too much going on. Too much like what? I don't know. Yeah. I like yeah, to I chill. You know what I'm saying? You peace can of chill. mind. You have peace of mind in Atlanta. No, I don't. Always ready. Always on go. Always got the strap. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Always true. be ready to pop off. But that's a good thing, though. No, it's not. I don't want to have to live my life in a fight or flight situation. Well, you gotta live like that every day, even if you're not in the crime place. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm chilling right now. I see these 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 old white people walking around. I don't gotta hold the strap. I don't gotta hold the toolie. I ain't gotta stay be them toes. They finna shoot every car driving by. Just because that's what they woke up feeling like today. <laughs> that was racist. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that Ferrari was sexy. The Ferrari. Man, cop yourself a Jew rag. So was somebody white Ferrari. driving it. If How you, you would have seen it in Atlanta, it would have been a black How person. How you know? How you know? Because I know. How you know? I yeah, it would have been a black day. person driving it. And then, actually, it's say probably something racist. a black person driving it. Yes, it would have. No, I, said, I was going to say it would have been a black person driving it. But then they would be living out of it. But I don't believe my black people's is only flexing and they they don't really got money. I don't like to believe that. People say that all the time, how people want to buy these cars just to put out a, 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 a image. You know what I'm saying? But they really broke. But they were driving around in a rented Lamborghini. I don't want to believe that's what my black folk be doing. We got it for real. You know what I'm saying? So if I see a black person driving a Ferrari, I know he worked hard for that. He ain't no drug dealer. He don't got to be no athlete. He don't got to be none of that. He's just smart. You know what I'm saying? Businessman. I mean, even if he is a drug dealer, he's smart. Because if he driving a Ferrari, yeah, he's a drug saying, dealer. He's high up. I'm just saying, everybody that... Um, everybody always assumes if a black person is successful, they either... Uh, actor, a drug dealer, or an athlete. You could be a regular dude just grinding. 
that's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. So my black people out there keep winning. The white folk out there still winning too. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got to win. Everybody got to win. We all got to win, man. But especially my black brothers and sisters. How many brothers you got? A lot. Come on now. We've been through that. Man, get out my face. Call I don't know what you're talking about, so we just going to go. Bye. <laughs> Alright squad, listen, man. He ain't the squad. So, he ain't the family. We went to Look boxing. at that good camera quality. Oh. We went to boxing and look at Dusty's eyes. You can tell she was asleep. Dusty literally slept <laughs> for about four hours. That's kept. I set my alarm for two hours and I woke up an hour. No, I set my alarm for an hour and a half and I woke up an hour later. So two and a half hours. It was more like three hours, but she fell no, asleep it wasn't. for like Okay, you weren't asleep the whole time, but she was laying on the bed for like four hours. So um we got home, Destiny showered, bada bada bada, did all that. And then I don't even know, bro. She just laid on the bed, sat on the bed, was on her phone, and then she was asleep and I just let her sleep. But we got a couple things we gotta do real quick. So we're gonna take you guys along with us. We we're just having this conversation actually, Destiny. What? Um who do we want to die first, right? Who, I want me to. She says she want her to die first. Me personally, you know I like life. You want me to die first too? No, I wouldn't want. I was thinking about that this morning. I was like, I wouldn't want to die first. I would want. I would want to die first. So it's like, I, I'll do it. You know what I'm saying? And I wouldn't want to like have to watch. Destiny die because that would be pretty sad and depressing. But I wouldn't want to leave like my family. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't not that like for me personally, but I wouldn't want to leave them without me. You know what I'm saying? So I would rather we all die at the same time. Everybody rather die. No, that's that not. Oh, I'm just playing. I don't want that to actually happen. Well, me and you could die at the same time, but I don't want my kids to die with us uh, for no reason. You know, like old people, like when somebody's husband dies or something. Yeah, they the be dying like a week or, later. Yeah, I mean, not always a week, but like in the It'd same year or year. Yeah, it could be like a week, couple hours. I heard a story about a couple hours. Yeah, I heard a story. Yeah, so a couple about hours. A, I heard a story about the next day. Yeah, a couple hours is cool. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. But we about to drive. Or I'm Mom ever want me dead. That's so sad. No, I never said that. I would probably still say if this someone hat. had to die, it would have, it would have to be me first. Mm. Especially if we like old and like 80, 90. I'm gonna just be depressed. Yeah, that is pretty depressing when people's spouse die. Like Nipsey Hussle. But they um, young. London. That's really sucky. Like, oh, and I was asking OB. Destiny this too. Okay, let's say God forbid. Obviously, God forbid, right? I died. Would she move on? No. And I said that's wrong. If, I, if, you, if you like 40, 50, if you like 80, it don't even make sense to move on. I Nobody think God to created you a like perfect that. person for you not to. But if God knew you was going to die, he did not He did not want to be... He did, we would not want you to be alone. We're going to your house. Then you right? date somebody else just to compare everything. No, we're going to the cake place. No, I told... No, we have to go to the house. We're passing your house to go to the cake place. Ain't it? They ain't no. Okay. So what's the cake place? Hold on, y'all. Okay, y'all. So we back. What were we talking about? The whole if I die you're supposed to move on thing. Oh yeah, if okay, yeah. So if Josiah something God forbid something was to happen to Josiah, am I supposed to move on? No. You you really are. So if you God forbid you died, right? Yeah. I'm forty. I'm supposed to stay single for the rest of my life. It's just like you get in a relationship with somebody else, you're gonna compare everything they do to when we were together. You're gonna tell you if you do that for every relationship. Why is it going so far? Tell me you're gonna do that for every single relationship you have. You compare people all the time. That doesn't mean you can't live with it. There's obviously gonna be some things they do better, or some things the other person does better. You know what I'm saying? Y'all think, what would y'all do? 
Yeah, what would y'all? Y'all know y'all would move on. If y'all had a husband, it's not, wrong, it's not wrong with moving on. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you cheating on the person or, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't feel disrespected and I'd be like, good. Find somebody that's gonna take good care of you. You know what I'm saying? They'll obviously never be able to compare to me, but hey, God wanted me, so I had to go back. And you just gotta live out here by yourself, my boy. Oh my God. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, that's, I don't know. I don't know what I would do. I don't know why my camera's so dark. Time to go back to the phone. Time to go back to no, the phone. I just gotta adjust my settings. That's no, all. You just have to go back to. We the just phone. gotta adjust the settings. But anyways, right now we are currently on the way to this cake place to get our cake for the wedding. Um, we ought to go try and get a cake. Yeah, try and get a cake for the wedding. That's what we're trying to do because we've been going everywhere, y'all, and it's been. But we've been calling everywhere and it's been chaotic. It's been really bad with the cake situation. And I'm not particularly impressed about the cake, so I have been not doing what I'm supposed to do because I'd be like, oh yeah, a cake. We still don't have a cake. So still don't care. Today this little bump is making it look like it's some serious this thing. But um yeah. So basically Y'all can't see my face. Y'all can see me now. Put your hand, man. You're blocking the door. Oh, sorry. But yeah, we ain't got nothing to talk about. So I'll come back to y'all when uh, we got something to talk about. All right, so we're at Publix now trying to get some. Um, we, we We set to get like a cake sample and all that. Right Right now we're gonna, we have to buy some cookie batter thingies so that we can make Christmas cookies, right? Yes. Christmas cookies. Girl got your Good cookies. Talk. Girl got cookies. Girl got cookies. Come get your cookies. Huh? Do it again? I can't. Oh my days. It's not for the video. My back hurts so much, man. Your back hurt? Why you yeah. tell me? What she gonna do? What I'm gonna do? Y'all see how she's standing? <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. It's so, it's so tough out here. So he tough. Can't. He be like, oh baby, need um. How do we need that? Is this, bacon this ain't no bacon. Remember last year we decorated the cookies? And it came out really bad. Yeah, because it wasn't that. the right stuff. This is the right. Oh, okay. Get it. Get all the colors you want. These three. This is Christmas. I don't know why they got that blue. Blue is Christmas too. Oh, yeah. My house is blue. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The house is literally blue. Okay, but um, this boy will sit up here and be like, my back hurt. How long you back been hurt? Past few days. Why you ain't say nothing? Then I give him a massage and he'd be like, I feel good today. I bet. Boy. Well, that she's been asleep all day, so. It started hurting today? No, it probably no, started it yesterday. No, it really did start today. Oh, it did? Yeah. Really just the past two hours. Tonight. That's too long. I need it like today, right now. Right now? In the store? Yeah. Where is the cookies? I don't know where we're going, but I'm gonna figure it out later. We are now at Chipotle. And I get some Chipotle. I love Chipotle. No, I don't. I really don't, but Josiah you do. It makes us be sick. And we always eat what I want to eat. So I was like, babe, just get what you want. <laughs> like, we always get what I want to eat. You need to do a fit check. So I'm looking kind of good today. I actually got dressed. Call me Mr. Put It On. No, no, no. So, I'm starving. That's all I gotta say. We did not. Eat at Chipotle because the line was so long. So, I'm about to go to Chipotle now. We went to my house, did some stuff. Got the cookie cutters, all that. I'm gonna go to Chipotle now. And yeah. Why are you turning my hair? The GPS don't say turn. I know. I don't listen to the GPS, I listen to myself. So you wanna know the cool thing about me and Destiny, right? So literally 20 minutes ago, Destiny was yelling at me and I was not yelling. Tell me you didn't yell. No. 
Come on now, tell me to yell. I yelled for one second. That's not I, I, yelling I, I, at you. Like, Unless I was yelling the whole time, I was not yelling at you. Anyway, we was having a disagreement or argument, whatever like that. But the cool thing about me and Destiny is that it could be like, well, we didn't really have like super, super bad. One time. What well, was it one time? And it don't be super, super bad because it takes two people to have a super, super bad argument. And I'm just too like level-headed or too like leveled. One time when? With the thing? With the what? What she was about to say. No, when you walked away from me. Yeah. Yeah. And then I came back. Yeah, but um, I'm too like level headed. Like I don't ever yell or nothing like that. Like Destiny would yell and stuff like that, but I don't. I just don't yell. It's just. Cause I don't I like talk. when people it's don't understand my point. It's just a conversation. That's what I'm it's trying to explain. It's passionate. It's not anger. Like if y'all have boyfriend or girlfriends or wife, husband and wife, and stuff like that, like. Me personally, I don't argue. I literally conversate. I keep the same tone. And then I'd be like, oh, Josiah, you're not understanding. Destiny, I just. Like, <laughs> like you're I'm just me mad. Don't, no. See, you just mad because you want somebody to yell back at you. Yes, you show passion. That's called toxicity. No, it's That's not. The end of relationship. Passion. Like, okay, okay, next time I'm going to yell at you, right? And you're going to feel real bad. I'm going to be like, don't yell at me. You think so? You think so? How much you, you ever seen a big dog that got dogged down by a little dog? You think you a big dog until I start yelling. I don't even have to yell and Destiny I am still come down. Dog. I don't even have to yell and Destiny still I like the little dogs that put their um, tail between their legs and run away. But it's okay. But I was just, we was talking, we, we're on a whole different topic now. I don't even know why we just said all that. But um Maybe oh, I was saying the good thing. Argument. No, I was saying, I was, I was. I was while vlogging. No, I was I was saying all that because it's the cool thing about us is literally like ten minutes later we're perfectly fine, like literally. That's because me, I take full responsibility for what. Why we be good after? That's so okay. <laughs> I just start. I just start. Never mind. I can't say that. But um, we saw this one thing on TikTok where you argue booty balls naked. We That's try what we wanted time. to do. We don't have arguments. Well, actually, that probably will work with us because we don't have a serious argument. We've never had like a serious argument. We've never went like hour, a hour, even an hour without talking to each other, 30 minutes. We've never did that, ever. But, um, I, it just be ending after a while because Destiny starts sucking her tongue. Then I just you start, start laughing. Yeah, I just start laughing. And then and I'm, I'm like, like bro, Destiny, come funny. here, bro. Then we just hug and then we just start joking about the situation. And then, yeah. Then we get mad again. Well, I that, get mad again. I don't get mad again. And then that's when it's really fun. Because then, like, if I say something, we'll still be talking about the situation. But I done done laugh and everything. So now Destiny's mad and I'm laughing for real, for real now. So I'm like, Destiny, what the heck is wrong with you? And then she get mad and then she start laughing because I do something funny. Like, crap a titty or something like that. Um, that's not. <laughs> no. That's not a fixer. Oh, pretty. I'll be doing it and then she be like, wait, what were we talking All about? All it takes to fix is I understand your side. I understand your side. I'm going to try and change. That's it. That's it. Or just grab a titty. But if Literally, you do and that, just be like, if you would do that at the beginning, about? no, if you would do that at the beginning of the disagreement or whatever, whatever we're disagreeing about, then it wouldn't be the same as you be doing it at the end. Once we both so said how beginning? we felt. You want me to do it in the beginning? No, I'm going to get mad. More <laughs> mad. No, you not. Nah. You can be like, wait, what are we talking about? <laughs> no, I'm going to get more mad. Okay. And I'm going to throw. Throw what? You over the balcony. You weigh like 112 pounds. Don't ever disrespect me like that. 170. Big you Don't do not. I'm not no 170. I'm not close to 170. But, um, yeah, but honestly, we each turned on back on the camera because we were going to have a real conversation. You know what the real conversation was going to be about? Our first impressions, because we never really did that. Our first impressions on each other? Did you we think I was did sexy? That. Did you think I was sexy the first time you saw me? Yeah, but I thought you were short. Well, yeah, but I was like, oh, he's short, though. Girls, you think it's 6'3 is short now. That's crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. No, but, like, you know those so short you first people, saw like... Me? It's, a, it's different types of shorter people. Like, Josiah's not like, um, like, you know, they got the guys that's just, like, flimsy and, like, short. Like, Josiah's, like, you know, he, like, got some slides on, even though he's short. Like, his confidence, you know, like, 
He's got some swag to him, even though he's so. What yeah, does that like, mean? Most short dudes just be like mad insecure and like. Some of them walk even confident, but they still just look goofy. But like you wasn't like that. <laughs> okay, so let's skip past that. So you, like, was, so you thought I was attractive? Yeah. So the first time you walked up to me in that garage, you was like, oh, he's actually attractive. That's not what was going through my head at that time. Oh, what was going through your head? Not that. You said what up and gave me a hug, and I was like, oh, he's welcoming. What was I supposed to say? Because I didn't bro, know get in the, the video, car, bro. I didn't know that. The car. I was walking to. The Man, get in the house. I bro. didn't know if like you know sometimes you do videos with people first time and like you've only seen them on video and it's like awkward. Like hi, yeah. So we could do this. Yeah, I ain't hi, never been awkward, hi. especially Me around. Never mind. Go ahead. Especially around what? <laughs> Girls, <laughs> this ball finna be at your head. The only girl in your life is destiny. The only girl you should ever speak on, think about, or anything is destiny. Understood. I'm sorry, mom. I guess I gotta cut you off. No, I'm not talking about in that way. You know what I mean. What do you mean? This one be at your head. You don't know what I mean? Man, put the ball down. You don't know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> real, real hooper. You can't hit the ball out of my hand. Okay. I always got some grip to it. Okay, you know okay. What I mean? put, the, put the ball out. Let's see if I can. No, hit it you just thought you was gonna do it real quick, and I ain't built like that. Now I'm definitely gripping it because I know, but I'm saying even before that, you can't ever play with me like that. So first impression, he's the sexiest person in the world. No, my first impression was, I uh, mean, he cool. I told you, I thought that you and um, Flo was together because y'all was sharing an Airbnb house. Like, I didn't know how many bedrooms, I didn't know when that. I just know that y'all both got a house together here in Atlanta, came here together, rode together. So I'm like, oh, they must be together. He must came with his girl. Because there's a lot of guys on YouTube that have full-on relationships outside of YouTube. Yeah, we finna like, expose you. We know. And be like, we what? Stop. And be like, yeah, what? <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Don't. And Can be like, look? no, be quiet. So, like, it be like full-on relationships, and they be doing all these smacker grabs. They be doing the videos with mad girls and all that. So, I thought that was you. So, Luminati. Boy, stop. Come on. All one right, more, what's your more, first impression? One more, one more. I, I don't got enough. What's another You better not me? say, uh, I don't know. I better not say who? You ain't call out nobody that actually do that. Come on now. Clarence. His real life relationship. You think? You think that's his son too? It is. Everything is a, everything Bruh, on YouTube is a lie. You sound retarded. Destiny is really my sister. Ew, that's not weird. Shut up. <laughs> okay, first person to Destiny. Boom, let's go. Honestly, I was I was holding the camera, so y'all saw my face off for I was like, oh, what up? That's you a lie. What? Go. Say Honestly, it. I'm not gonna lie to you. I did not. I did not. I wasn't like, oh my God, Disney's just so attractive, by the by. I wasn't like, you know if you go to the mall, right, and you see a nice little girl, and you're like, dang, she fine, you know what I'm saying? That's just not what was going, not that she wasn't, like, good looking. It's just not what was going through my head. It was more so like a, like a, okay, bet, we finna shoot this video. I hope she's nice and, like, not weird and stuff like that. That's really all that was going through my head. I'm like, I hope she got a personality, and it's not awkward. You know what I'm saying? So I seen her, she had, you had straight hair or curly hair? Wow. So no, I just it. wasn't. No, I just wasn't like thinking like that. Now I look at you and I'm thinking. But yeah. now it's different because we date. So we don't date. No, your first impression is. We don't date. You. That's the wrong hand. We no, don't your date. first impression is really how you. So your first impression is I'm finna. If the dude proposed to me right now, you am finna say yes. What? You know what I just said, even though I stumbled a little bit. That made no sense. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, for even asking. What else? What was your first? Impression? For okay, after the first day. First impression. Yeah, go ahead. Destiny's straight. She's cool. I like her. She has a nice personality. She's somebody. And actually, I barely even talked. It was her talking most of the night. Because that's when we did the muck thing. You talked a lot. No, because you was. That's when we was having the conversation at the sushi place. Y'all don't even know. We had a, like the first day okay. we ever met. We had like a real deep. A real deep conversation. Conversation. Like the first, the first day. No, like before first, we did the mukbang. Yeah, before like, we even did the video. We had a whole like deep conversation, just about life and stuff. Yeah. But Destiny was mostly talking, so that's what I'm saying. I, yeah. That's why I was saying it was like, yeah, you know, shut up, you know what I'm talking. About. Um, okay, first impression. I just want to 
gonna say this. So like, I was always the type of person, I never talked to people, I never told people what I was going through, like anything, not even my friends, like ever. Um, my first day meeting Josiah, he was like, I really think God sent him <laughs> me to have somebody to talk to. Like, even, y'all, I have close, I had close, close friends that I would not even tell like what I'm going through. But Josiah, he was like, what's wrong? And like, I'm like, how do you even know? Like it was, that was a really, really hard day for me. But I was like, I gotta, gotta, gotta do what I gotta do. I gotta make, this, do this collab. I gotta do all of this stuff. So I was like, I gotta put my feelings on the back burner. But yeah, then Josiah was like, what's wrong? That's really all that started it. A simple, what's wrong? What's on your mind from Josiah is what started all of this. I thought it was my dashedly sexy looks. No, it's not. But you See, know, you do look real, real, real sexy. So, do you think I'm the best looking person in the entire world? Mm -hmm. So when you first saw me, did you think I was the best looking person in the entire world? Lie. Lie and say no. Because you Who know I Who was the I best did. looking person in the entire world? D-Rock. I still remember that stupid video. Freaking D-Rock built like a... You look way better team. than D-Rock. Way. We ain't even finna talk about D-Rock. Go ahead, man. Don't put that in my face. Hey! No, but for real, come on. So what else? You still wasn't thinking first first. I look good? That I, that never really crossed my mind. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you didn't look good. It's just I wasn't thinking like that. You know what I'm saying? It was just more so like, okay, this is business. Like if you Well, I will say this though. When you did the reaction to my video, I was and you was standing right there, I was like, oh, he kinda cute. But that was it. I was like, oh, he kinda cute. I didn't like that sweet hair when she did the first was it the first reaction? No. She had curls, like orange curls. I didn't like it. It wasn't orange. Tan, galon, whatever the heck it was. I didn't like them. I liked her hair straight, though. Her hair was straight. I like that. It was straight when I first met you. Yeah, it was You nice said that I looked better in person. I did say you looked better in person. But I, I was just saying Everybody that, so said that to me. Friends. Literally, everybody said nice. that to me. I was just trying to get no, another collab going real. on. I was trying to get more content for y'all. You, you know was a lie. You did not care. You said it's probably the only video we gonna make. No, I said I'll make three videos and probably never talk to you again. And I'll tell you that won't happen. That's really what I said. That's really crazy. Cause that's, that's really if y'all used to watch my monkey app videos, I would make these little series with the girls and do like three other videos with them, like off of the monkey app. Then I'll go find, go on the monkey app again, meet somebody else, make a whole new series, or I'll do a series with like a YouTuber or any girl really. Oh yeah, when I when you had came to Atlanta, you had just started doing a series with some USA girl or something. Oh, the, oh, Miss USA. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that too. That's who you was doing the, um. Was that what, how we doing the series? You yeah, had just it started was. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah it you was just that. Yeah. that. And I remember because Jax was like, that's real. <laughs> what, the Miss USA? Yeah. Yeah, she was. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But anyways. Yeah, you told us. Um, but yeah, man. Now I'm tied down to the most beautiful girl in the entire world, Miss USA in my heart. Dang, bro, don't stab me like that. I got a rock right here, but you gotta proceed with caution. I bought that. <laughs> okay, y'all, that's the end of busy vlog. That's the end of this video. I'm actually finna go out and go shopping for Josiah for Christmas. The Louis um, store closed though. The what? The Louis store. You don't even wear Louis. Cause I don't have none. Cause you didn't buy me none. I was gonna buy you something. What do you actually get me? I'm not telling you. Please. No. Please. No. I'm Please. getting you multiple, multiple things. Like. How I think this Christmas, I wasn't supposed to go hard this Christmas, but... How much you spending? How much I spent so far? Mm -hmm. A lot. <laughs> Is it more than $10,000? No. Is it going to be more than $10,000? No. Is it going to be more than $300? It's already more than that. Yes. That's but yeah, I had to go get the majority of the stuff today. Um, the one thing that I already got is like... Yeah, y'all gonna see. We opening gifts on Christmas, the day before Christmas Eve. Cause we have to leave to go to, to Jersey for Christmas, but the vlog of us opening up the Christmas presents is gonna be on Christmas Eve. Yeah, on Christmas Eve. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, y'all. Jersey Squad, out, zoom! No, that's not, zoom. no. We don't know what you're doing. Oh, and let me tell y'all something. The whole thing about yelling and stuff. When Josiah yelling in these videos and and doing all he be doing, he not he not like that real life. He know not to yell at me. He know that. Why is this I'm yell at you? Just so just so you know, no, I can't yell not. and you gonna feel real bad about yourself. You're not gonna yell at me. Why would you want to yell at me? Cause you think if I yell, 
Man, get your cute stuff out of my face. <laughs> okay, that's the end of the video though. Just you! Just you!